Hey, what's up folks? We're going to talk about prefers color scheme or as it's more commonly referred to dark mode. Now this is a way for the browser to detect whether the user either through a browser setting or through their operating system has indicated that they prefer light mode or dark mode and reacts accordingly. Now I've always thought this was kind of dumb and I thought it would go away. <laughs> It's, I thought of it in the same way I thought of websites that detect what time it is, where their user is, and change their styling accordingly. I always thought it was, uh, have we solved all the other problems in the world? Or is this really what we're doing? And I've also thought of it as, uh, look, I don't have great design skills, but you as my user probably don't have as good a design skills as I have, so just trust me with the design, please. It's fine. And that's what I thought of it for a long time. But then my father has, he's going blind. He's legally blind now. And he finds websites with white text on a darker background a lot easier to read than dark text on a light background. So now I'm thinking of it as an accessibility issue. And I take that kind of thing very seriously. So I'm going to start doing some dark mode. And I wanted to show you just the basics of what that looks like. And we're just going to live do it uh, with uh, one of my websites until we get bored with it. I won't let you, I won't make you watch me dicker around with CSS endlessly because I can do that for hours and hours and, and, and you'd die. But we'll, t we'll at least get started on it and see how that works. And it is not hard. Dark mode is enabling that is actually fairly straightforward. It's just a lot of, it's, you know, it's CSS work. So there's a lot of splash here, splash there. Oh, make this one little percentage something different. Oh, no, I don't know. It's that kind of thing. So let's take a high level overview look at it. And this is in CodePen. And this is a little bit of, a, a very little bit of a web page that supports uh, light mode and dark mode. Now light mode and dark mode you can set in your operating system or, or sometimes in your browser. Firefox will let you do it. I don't think Chrome will without an extension. But uh, we have just settings in Firefox that enable us. We put it in light mode and we'll go back over and see now we're in light mode. In light mode, unless you have specified a background color and a text color, in light mode, the text is black and the background is white. In dark mode, the text is white and the background is black. So right now we're in light mode and it's it changed, so it's it's like this. Now you can specify in your web page in CSS that your page only likes, say, only renders well in dark mode. Right now we have this on the root, we have color scheme dark and light. We can change it to just dark. And now no matter what the browser says, it's going to be rendered as dark mode. Now we're just telling it that you can render it either way. So we've got one thing I'm changing individually, because your web page is never this simple. You specified lots of colors and background colors and whatnot, and all those things need to ripple down now. You do that in vanilla CSS with a media prefers color scheme, light or dark, and change things there accordingly. Like I have an accent color for form uh, for uh, form elements like this range input. And in light mode, it's setting it specifically to have an, a magenta accent color. Regularly, which will be applied to dark mode, it would be accent color this kind of green so if we move back over to dark mode we'll see now it's green so this media query the same way you do a media query for uh, responsive design or for print styling you can do that for light schemes and dark schemes so cool that's how you do it on a web page that doesn't exist anywhere something very simple it just be a few lines like that Let's take a look at good old GeoPortal. This does not have a dark mode on it. We're going to add one. I'll put you over here. We'll pull up the code. 
I've already started looking at it, so <laughs> don't think I'm a genius when I start these things. You know, look how easy it is. I, I do a little bit of work ahead of time, so you don't have to watch me stumbling around like a moron. So we are still in dark mode. This does not have a dark mode. Now, GeoPortal uses Tailwind, and Tailwind has a nice little dark selector you can use to change the styling. So our body has a background of white by default. We can go dark as our selector and go BG, and I'm just going to put it to, I have this very dark blue on the header and footer. I'm just gonna make that for the whole page. BG Blue 900. Look at that, we're already getting darker. So our text is, is black here, which uh, is not going to have a high enough contrast uh, ratio. So we're going to fix, fix that. We'll go to our main area. Actually, we can probably just do it for the body since everything's going to be dark. We go dark text uh, white. See if that does it. Hey, look at that. We got white text. And now you've got, <laughs> you've got the big things. Now it's just a whole bunch of fiddling. So this orange, we will check it with the accessibility checker to see if we have contrast issues for that. Uh, at the end, this orange might be okay. It might need to get a little bit lighter. We'll figure that out. This table clearly has a problem. I've done the every other row background and in light mode. See, it's like uh, just a little bit off white to give it that those rows some separation. Uh, but since we have white text now, that's just getting bleached out here. Let's go into our table component. And look, here's where I'm doing it. I'm saying nth child even, give it this background gray. Let's go dark, BG, and we want to go the opposite direction. So if we have a really light color, it'll just be a slightly less dark color. So we'll just go BG blue, 800, bring it down a bit. And there we go, now we can see the text and we have this slightly different offset thing so we can see those rows. The links in here are no bueno. Those are going to be too, uh, too, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying here, not good. Let's see where I'm setting those links. I might be doing it, uh, doing it in some CSS here in the main. So we go text blue, we'll go dark text, uh, just make them text white. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we got that and got that. This button is surprisingly uh, shiny enough to be seen still. Holy cow, have we done it? Let's try something else. Schools. These table headers are not going to be a high enough contrast ratio. Let's go back into that table. See where I'm setting that. Hmm. TRTH. Uh, I'm setting it here. You're doing text gray 600. Let's go dark text. Gray. Can we do 300? Oop, dash 300. Oh, you see these are already a lot brighter. Maybe a little too bright. This is this is where I say I'm not going to make you watch me do all that. Now the show map button is, that is way too dark. I think that's just on the map component. It's like a toggle. Yep, button. Okay, we're going. <sighs> Capitalize show, text gray, hover, you know. 
Okay, the, the background, what we need to change is the text. I mean, this is actually probably okay when you hover it. So we're going text gray 600, we'll go dark, text gray, we need to get a lot lighter. And we'll need to change that on hover now. Hover text uh, gray. Eight hundred, we'll say. It'll actually look a little bit, little bit better when you hover in a not dark mode too. I imagine. Probably was a little light before. Yeah, that works good. All right, what else? Oh, this, uh, this, uh, that text needs to be a little darker. I don't, I'm trying to remember where I put stuff like that. Let's go to like a trash. Oh, it's in this title component. That's convenient. Thank you, me from the past. Oh, it's got the SVG in it too. We can fix that all right here. All right, all right. Uh, go dark. Text white. Uh, Four hundred, maybe. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. I was hoping that would affect this SVG. It did not. We will have to figure that out. <laughs> Dark. Text, uh, we'll fix this, the title thing showing. Text, gray 300. Oh, a little bit darker, so it's not so pronounced. I get away with 500? Well, we'll see if the uh, accessibility tester yells at us for that. Now let's see if we can uh, Fill current. So it is getting. Hmm. 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 Let's see. Fill. Let's see. Will that do it? Hey! Yahtzee! All right, not sure I like that, <laughs> that blue, but uh, we're going to go with it so we can take this dark off of here. Uh, all right. Well, that's a pretty good start. We have, I mean, I will fiddle with this more endlessly, but this is not bad. These buttons, I might need to make the filled in color a little bit lighter. One thing to note for dark mode is dark mode does not affect printing. So when you go to print, you see it's not applying these styles. So you're not getting white text. So you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. So let's go into our testing tools. I'm in Firefox. I don't really have testing tools here. Let's uh, uh, go. I don't think I can lighthouse it with the controls from Firefox. I need to go into Chrome. Okay. Let the host 3000. There you go. Bug me about. See, Chrome doesn't know about dark mode though. Oh, we're kind of stuck in pickle. Anyway, if you can do the lighthouse accessibility testing on it, um, and do it in dark mode, it'll tell you if your contrast ratios are okay or not. And you want to test that in dark mode. Do I see a null? Why do we have a null for this? Eh, you don't care about that. Uh, you want to test your stuff in dark mode to make sure the accessibility, that you have the contrast ratio. So where we had some of the, like this color, it was, 
too dark against this background and and lighthouse testing would say whoa this is not uh uh huh i wonder if i can see the pro i haven't used firefox's accessibility tools in a while check for issues Check for contrast. Initializing. Boy, not exactly blowing away with the uh, speed here, Firefox. Anyway, you need to check the contrast ratios when you go into dark mode, the same way you do when you're doing it in regular light mode to make sure you're not uh, making problems for uh, people with visual impairments anyway yeah we're not gonna wait we're, we're gonna figure out what firefox is doing there later but that's in a nutshell how you do dark mode how you would do it with just plain css using uh, media selection and how you do it in tailwind and it's again one of those things i was didn't i, I thought the whole idea was uh, not very good until I ran into somebody, my father, who finds dark mode a lot easier to read as his vision declines. And that's an accessibility issue. And then now I think it's a real thing. So that's how you do it. I hope you're all doing great. And I will catch you later. Bye-bye.